Well, hello there, YouTube. It's time for me to pull my yell on C2. If you didn't know previously, I've pulled on like all her banners, and she hasn't been too kind to me, sadly. I think it cost me up to 160 pulls to get her, then it cost me 199 for the weapon, and then it cost me like, what was it, one. 157 or 156 to get her C1 on the on the rerun. So she's a hard to get lady, but I hope we can at least win a 50-50 here. Oh. I previously went for Kokomi, so we are at literal zero pity right now. And I really hope we can save some pools. But technically I should be fine, because even if all of these are gone, I could still have enough for the Archon. If she is not next version, that is. Wait, let's claim the Primo Gems from the mail, actually. Cool. Yeah, that should be plenty, right? Surely. Surely. Well, here goes nothing, let's go. Fingers crossed. I would also like to snack some constellations for the new 4 star obviously, especially the C1 for that extra nice grouping. Oh my, that's a very good start. First 10 pool, that's crazy. That's absolutely insane. Well, if we get unlucky with like Yelan, then we might see more of her, hopefully. But obviously, like, as a long time player, I have Barbara and Bennett already at max. So those will be refunded pools, at least. Yeah, so I don't really mind getting Star Glitter for them, because that's just more savings for future characters. Oh, double 4 star in Temple. Very nice. Third pool in. Let's go. Oh, how I hate to see you, dude. Huh. <laughs> Weapons are such a scam. Like, they do not even refund the full 5 star glitter, even if you have like 10 copies already, or like 20 copies. It doesn't matter. The game doesn't love you if you pull a weapon. Okay, this is the 40th temple, or the 4th temple, whatever. Oh nice, we have the C1, and I think we get a free copy of her on the event as well. So that's like C2 right now, if we're counting that. That's very nice. Maybe one more 4-star? Oh, not lucky. I mean, that's pretty lucky still. That's great. Okay, 5th temple. And also, I don't think I'm gonna be pulling one by one close to pity because, oh my god, that's C2. That's the third one. Amazing. I don't think I'm gonna pull one by one just because uh, I'm gonna pull on the character banner anyway. And if I have a couple extra pulls, that's fine. If I use a couple extra here. But also, if we do lose the 50 50, I'm hoping to get Tainari because I don't have him yet. Chichi, I don't have her yet, or I wouldn't mind the Daya constellation because the C1 would be a game changer. Alright, 60 pools. I'm gonna be quite frank. Oh my lord, what? That's like the fourth? The fifth? I can't believe it. That's really lucky. 
Now, now only if we could win the 50-50 I would be set. But if we do not, then Yelan can be potentially my most expensive character so far because I'm already over over 510 boost spent for Yelan as like a low spender which is like oh my lord that's crazy what there's no way I is that the fifth or fourth how many is that now that's crazy That's absolutely insane. Alright, this is 70 pulls in. No, we are 60 right now and this is gonna be 70. No earlies then. <laughs> yeah, just the usual. Yeah, I haven't pulled an early 5 star on the character banner in over 2 years now I believe, so... This is just usual. Barbara, Ikuyo! Nice. I quite like Barbara actually, because before I got Kokomi I was using her in my Needle Bloom team. And to be honest, I'm quite satisfied with how she was performing there. Alright, this should be the 5 star, unless we go over 80 PT. Yep. Hopefully we can win it. Or get a Tynary or Daya. Oh my lord, do I love to see you. Dude, we're gonna see six. I think it's already C6, no? That's that's insane. That's absolutely massive. I have never C6 the brand new 4 star like this before. And we got her. Thank god, that's really lucky. And we have 8 more pools in this ba in this temple. Which means I've I managed to save quite a few actually. But that also means she was early, no? Was she like 72 then? Because that's technically an early. But like, thanks Mihoyo, that's barely... It. Oh no, it wasn't early. Alright. Well, that's nice. Well, let's unlock our stuff then. Let's see the bounty boys. Oh, and I have quite a few savings left. That's actually very nice, because... I've been meaning to go for uh, the Archon, I've been meaning to go for the Geo Lady, and I've been meaning to go for Arlecchino, obviously, and also mm, the Electro, the Electro Lady with the gun. So I'm quite happy that Yelan came home with the 50-50, that's, that's, right. that's very good. By the way, this is my current build. <clears throat> I've been farming a lot for her, as you can see. You might think the ER is low, but if you run double hydro or if you have C1 like I do, then it's more than enough. And also, I have Aqua, obviously. Emblem set bonus. Max talents. All the jazz. Now we unlock. I think I'm gonna make a video on this. I wanted to make a comparison video between like C1 and C2, but I, I can't be arsed to do that, obviously, because I do not care about how it used to perform. A dressing room, huh? Alright. And then... Let's see how many of her we got. Either C5 or C6, right? Oh my lord, that's insane. We pulled six copies of the new. Well, let's, let's see what it does. Uh, yeah, this is the Vortex pool. That's great. Wait, is that the ultimate? So the ultimate fires a, an extra shot when it fires a shot. Great. Astonishing shift. That's the E, I believe. Faint charges. What is that? Is, is that an extra charge on the E like Yelan, I believe? And that's level for And we will get C6 on the event, so I'm quite happy of that. When Lynette uses an enigmatic feint and in the first she will gain an Nemo in future. Oh wait, that doesn't sound too bad actually. I don't know though if I have a spare uh, Viridescent to give her, sadly. 
because I have so many VV units already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I have to strongbox some. <laughs> this is just <laughs> too much. Oh no, wait, maybe... Uh. Okay, listen, we can give her emblem. I know it's not, not the best, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do have some emblem. Not the feather, apparently, though. Need to get some with ER, no? Oh, nice, ER. I think it should have any more damage somewhere. Mm, maybe not. Oh, yeah, I do have one. Nice. Uh, let's search ER. Okay, very nice. And then just get the feather with ER, I assume. Wow, they are in high demand apparently. On my ER feathers. Cool. Mm. I don't think I can. Yeah. Can I level her at all? That would be sick. Can't ascend. Have to do the trial. But I will do that later. Give her a Favonius, maybe, if I have one. Uh, MC is using it. Unlucky. Oh. Okay, let's give her fast rain for now. What's my ER? Oh, okay, that's... Yeah, that is way more than enough. Holy cow. Okay, let's get her in the party. I think this is the first time in, like, months that I have a party with, like... Uh, oh, the new menu looks very nice. Okay, that's my mount gun new. My Yule team. Oh, these are loading quite slow. Oh, Goro even has his little banner doggy up there. That's cool. Oh, my screenshot team. Freeze. The most based one. The least based one. What is this? Hyper Bloom? Okay. Anyway, sorry Yoimiya, but for now. Let's you just lead the way. I've been hoping that I could get Lila to Friendship 10 because Good I role. really wanted to use Cyan, Lynette right. and Yelan on Maybe the same team for like really fast sprints. But whatever. Okay. She looks quite cool, I guess. She's not as fast as the arm. Yeah. But I could just like chain this forever. Over here. I already have one back, okay. Oh my. Imagine if we put Sayu in this mix. You know, an ammo in view. I mean, animal resonance, reducing cooldowns, increasing movement speed, and also it's like constant uptime. Then, yep. basically, yep. speed incarnate. Yep. Very nice. I'm quite happy with how this turned out. This pooling session has been very good. And we have. I'm gonna just use a calculator, like 1,314. What is that? We have 83 more pools plus the uh, star glitter, so we are set. We are set for Fontaine, basically. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna try out C2 real fast. See what it does. Let's use actually. Nah. Maximize her damage with this. All right, let's head off. Yeah. By the way, I had to put the game right now on on my hard drive because the SSD was full, and it's like noticeably significantly worse in performance. 
So I think I'm gonna try out on, on the uh, perpetual guy. Oh, underground maps. Oh, that's very nice. That's good quality of life. I wish I had that when Inazuma came out. Or heck, even Sumeru. Yeah, so the load times are going to be a pain. I can already tell. I'm gonna have to nab a new SSD. Gather. Shield up. So I think the 90. Actually, which one is the So many numbers I can't tell. Hey, that's cool. That's pretty nice. And I have one more piece of content for this video. I've been saving up some um, emblem pieces to um, strong box. I think we can get quite a few done. And if I feel like it, I might also do some Fear Descent for Lynette. Because I don't want to go back into that domain. I know it's easy to farm, but I don't need any pieces from the healing set. Let's see. Oh boy, am I glad to see you guys here. Oh my. Such a sight to behold. Oh, well, let's go. There goes nothing. So what we are looking for, I think my weakest piece is none of them because all of them are strong, so the most realistic way I could get an upgrade if the goblet was an on-piece hydro with at least 12, pla 12 per 12 crits, but that would be like increasingly difficult to achieve, especially if all three of them are defense, like, like here. But honestly, like, me getting an upgrade on Yalan is just a pipe dream because, like, my pieces are so good after years of farming that I'm not really hopeful. But this new drag feature is, like, quite nice. Doesn't have to click one by one, at least. Okay, let's go from the middle. I wish we had like a self-modeling piece, like in Star Rail. You know what? If I feed like all of these, and we get nothing, then I'm gonna use the spare emblem pieces on Vir Descent. Because this is like quite... Oh my! Oh no, that's a goblet. Ah. Well, maybe someone can use that. Okay, that's... Promising. Hmm, maybe I guess. Where is this? Nah. Nah, nah. Yeah. But on the substats of Virdescent, I don't really care for anything except like ER and EM. It should be easier to farm than double crits. No Hydro Goblets. Unfortunate. Eh, I mean, highest stats on all three of them. I guess I take it. Okay, I guess we have some content then. Nice. Oh wait, oh no no no, we don't fit that. Okay, I'm not gonna do more of this. Let's do Weird Ascent instead. Oh lord. Okay, yeah. But yeah, I mean. Okay. Okay? Okay. We are done. <laughs> that was actually quite nice. But I'm just gonna leave the emblem on on her for now. Let's see what we got. Because by the way, these are the pieces. 
as you can see like maybe this I mean even this would be like hard to upgrade right because it has like one roll in HP and like a bajillion rolls in crit rate so the only way I could like realistically get this to be an upgrade if it got HP percent on the f fourth stat and then it rolled like all of them into crit rate which is like I'm not expecting it to obviously I had that one piece with like plus 11 where was that Oh, well, not only did we not get what we wanted, we also managed to miss our rolls on the crit rate. That's unfortunate. But since I'm a gambler, let's just see. Alright, dude. That's a consolidation reward. I think we also had a crit rate helmet. So if this got ER or attack percent or maybe even heck maybe an EM perfect highest roll ER my hopes aren't too high for this I need the crit damage roll like twice maybe okay if it rolls once more into crit damage then it's an upgrade for almost any of my emblem characters I believe well maybe not for shangling though it's actually let's get it maybe oh my god very good we're set yeah because I have a lot of crit damage slash crit rate headgear but I have very few of them that are crit rate on the main stat and even the ones that are are not very good sadly Maybe ER? Oh, thank you. Oh my. That's perfect. It's actually really good. Wait, if it rolls crit damage, if it goes like a 7 or 7.8 into crit damage, then that's gonna be the same crit value as my uh, Yelan's helmet, which means I could swap it technically. And then I could adjust the ratio. Well, let's see. Well, okay, that's still a very good piece. Don't get me wrong, that is... I'm very happy with that. Did we have anything else? Ah. Eh. I guess this one. But defense percent, how, how do I use it on? If it gets ER or attack, then I'm leveling it. If not, not. Uh, EM, I mean. Mm. Let's see the plus 8. I mean, that's a low roll, but. Mm, it's baiting me. This is called the bait. Because it's gonna go like low crit. And then at like plus 16 when I'm already like invested a lot of resources, it's gonna pull the rug. And I'm gonna feel sorry. Okay. Okay, that's a max roll. But unfortunately I don't think we can max this even. Yeah, we cannot. Well, we will not. Either case. That was... That was not a bad session, to be honest. But I also got the weird ascent ones. I had that good helmet, no? I believe. Yeah, this one, this one is actually not. Like, that's just crazy. This one is insane, too. Actually, let's see if I can roll like a... I don't know. The issue is that all my plus 20s are pieces that I really d do not want to use. This is horrible though, we can use this. Wait.
great post champ. That's actually good. Okay, one more. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Oh my. Why am I? Wait, no, wait, that's. Yeah, that's bad. Let's see. Okay, dude, what? Dude, please do it once more, please. One more EM, come on. Ah, okay. Still, that's quite... I don't know what I would use it on, but... Alright. But this has been worth the wait. I have anything else for this video because this was about the pulling and RNG anyway. I think I'm gonna start exploring Fontaine, but I do not want to spoil anyone in this video, so thanks for watching. Bye bye!